What's up, Team Flynn? Pat here, and we have a great question today from one of our own members, Grandma Goody. Grandma Goody asks, it's the first day of the fourth quarter of the year. Can you help us focus on what we could still get done or accomplish in 2020? She also proposes a secret word, which is something I love to do with our members here. You ask me a question, you tell me a secret word, I try to answer this question with that secret word in a sort of somewhat natural way. We'll, we'll see, we'll figure it out. But this is a great question because we are indeed at the end of the year here. So let's answer this question with five things I think we can do between now and the beginning of 2021. And as a quick reminder, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, make sure you do that now. I'm gonna be answering a lot more questions like this and having some fun with our members here. If you just hit that join button below if you'd like to support the channel or give this video a chance and you can subscribe and join at the end. Let's talk about this. The end of the year is indeed coming and whether you are a brand new entrepreneur this year or you've been doing this for a while, doesn't matter. There's some things we can do between now and the end of 2020. So number one, biggest thing to do now because we only have a couple months left is go back and see what has been working this year and do more of that. In fact, this is something we entrepreneurs need to do more of for sure. I mean, I, I, I remember what it was like when I first started. I tried something and even if it worked, it was cool, but I wanna try something else. And there's all these other people talking about these different things and they're exciting. We have squirrel syndrome. It's not healthy. We need to focus our energy into one thing at the end of the year here and what better thing to focus on than the things that have already been working. There's probably Pareto's rule at play here. 20% of the stuff you're doing is probably giving you 80% of the results. Why not spend the rest of your year doing those things? That's what I recommend you do. Check your analytics, just get that gut feeling, go back into your emails, run a survey. However you wanna check to see what's been working, you probably have an idea, go and do more of that. If it's giving you more money, great. If you're looking to get more subscribers, do more of that. Wherever in your business you want to focus on, do more of what's already been working this year. It's been a crazy year, but still things can work out. Next, what's coming up at the end of the year? The holiday season. Yes. And for us entrepreneurs, this is a prime time to start considering right now here in early October, what might happen in November around Thanksgiving. And of course, we have Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and of course, the run up to Christmas and Hanukkah and all those important dates where a lot of people are in fact buying things. So if in fact you have a physical product like I do, you can see the SwitchPod there in the background. Me and Caleb, my partner on that business at switchpod.co, we're putting a lot of time and effort into thinking about, well, what can we do to run a campaign or helpfully get more sales by the end of the year? We wanna sell as many of these darn things as possible. They're already flying off the shelves, but we wanna do it even more. For digital businesses, maybe you have a special deal or discount or package or special bonuses that you might wanna include into some stuff coming up for the holidays. This is a prime time to do it, especially leading into the new year. There might be a lot of personal development or business career uh, advancement focus type things that you might be offering, in which case 2021 is a perfect time for people to start gearing up and getting ready for that. So what might you be thinking about now to start getting yourself prepared for those holiday season run-ups? Number three, I had a friend come up to me the other day and say, hey, Pat, I'm gonna start three different projects before the end of the year. And I was like, Bruh. Why are you doing that? Choose one. There's only two months left in the year. What's the one that you want to focus on? If you are indeed going to do a project brand new on top of the stuff that you should already be doing, hint number one, the things that are already working, well, just choose one. So the one thing I'm focusing on right now is a brand new course that in fact I just finished filming and it's going to be released in November. It's a course about webinars. I'm not here to sell you that. I'm just letting you know that's the big focus and project right now for the new thing that we're gonna launch between now and the end of the year. Just one thing, just one new thing that we're launching. It's the only thing that we're focusing on right now besides maintaining the things we've already done and started, and that's it. And that way we have more of our team's effort and my own energy focused on that to make it uh, great and hopefully knock it out of the park when we launch it and not have my energy divided across all these different things and not give any of them a chance to succeed. So if you do have a lot of ideas, that's great. Make a list of all of them so you don't forget but pick the number one priority, the thing that you think you can be able to accomplish or start at least and work on now so that you're not mixing all that energy up with other things and diluting the power of what it is that you create. Number four, I gotta reiterate this again. I've already said it, but it's that important that it's taken up a whole nother number here. And that is make sure that you are focusing on the things that are also working already, right? Do that. It's almost like when you get a packet of Starburst, you always go for the pink ones because the pink ones are the good ones. So always go for those first before your friends grab them and then you can be happy and especially come Halloween, although Halloween's gonna be weird this year, there's not really gonna be any trick or treating depending on your neighborhood. 
check with your local officials to make sure you understand the rules for Halloween. I'm not a Halloween expert, but all I know is pink Starbursts are the best. Don't at me on that one. And then finally, number five, yes, for those of you in the back, pay attention, number five, this is a big one, and that is to make sure to try and start a new habit now that you would normally wait till the end of the year to start. So October is a perfect time to get ahead on those new habits that we want to create, like we often do around New Year's. I'm going to go to the gym every day. I'm going to start eating more healthy. I'm going to start reading every day. I'm going to start writing every day. Whatever the case may be, pick a habit to start now so that by the time we get to the start of the year, you're, you're already in motion, right? Physics is at play here. An object at rest tends to stay at rest. So let's start pushing that boulder now so that by the time we get to the end of the year, we're already rolling, yo. We're already rolling. And I want you to roll into new year. And I want you to roll into the new year and uh, crush it. So let's start those new habits now. One thing I'm starting, because I know this is going to be an important part of my 2021 journey, is writing. I'm starting to write every day now, even just a few hundred words, just to kind of get my 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 wheels going, because I'm going to be writing a new book starting at the end of the year here into 2021. And it's really important to me that by the time 2021 rolls around and I inject time into my calendar every day, large blocks of time that I'm just cruising because I'm hoping to finish this by the first quarter of next year, take some time to get a proposal ready, all that kind of stuff, because this may in fact be my first traditionally published book. I've published three already. One of them was a Wall Street Journal bestseller as a self-published book, but this time we're going big time. So I got to make it work and I want to have those habits in store and ingrained in me already. So I recommend you start those habits now. Whatever your goals might be for next year, start thinking about them. What habit can you start forming now leading into 2021? So there you go, Grandma Goody. Hopefully that's helpful for you and everybody else. If you happen to enjoy this video, a couple things you can do. Number one, make sure you hit that subscribe button right now and hit that bell notification icon so you get notified when new videos come your way. Number two, if you'd like to join, perhaps participate in this Q&A session with some special words from you, uh, I love to play this game because I'm gonna be creating more videos like this. Hit that subscribe button or click the join button below. There you go. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. If you are ready to watch another video, you can click on that video right there. I recommend that one. And in, in fact, actually, YouTube is recommending that one to you. So they know better than I do. Why don't you click on that and I'll see you there. Peace out and Team Flynn for the win. Bruh.